I agree. <laughs> 20 years of Fox films, and this is the last one. Dark Thankfully. Phoenix. Thankfully. X-Men, Thankfully. Dark Phoenix. Well, I guess they dropped the X-Men part, and it's just Dark Phoenix, because even the X-Men didn't want to be associated with this film. <laughs> they pretty much walked out of their contracts happy as fuck. Um, er- what everybody is saying about the film is right. Uh, I wanted to go in actually kind of liking it because I love uh, Sophie Turner in, in uh, uh, Game of Thrones. I think mm-hmm. she's super beautiful. And, you know, I think that some of the, the new X-Men and, of course, Michael Fassbender as Magneto, some of these characters I really enjoy and I like. And, um, and so I thought that, you know, even giving the film the benefit of the doubt, I could just not get into it it was boring very lackluster what made it so boring alex what made it so generic the story was kind of bad i was actually kind of i liked the first five minutes or so because we have the team of the (laughs) x-men like doing the being heroes right they're like they're on the ship they're saving people it's like oh we're gonna get this team movie yeah and then it just spirals out of control Mm -hmm. where the story doesn't make any sense and the characters keep repeating the same goddamn lines over and oh how many times does sophie turner say i can't control it the cg isn't all that good yep um it's a fucking crime uh the the script Oh, because it's bad. she literally has nothing to do. You know that one look Sophie Turner has in Game of Thrones all the time? That's her in this film, too. Yeah. And that's it. But I've seen her have other range, and she doesn't really get to do that here. She gets no help from the writer and director. And producer. I don't know if he produced it. He did. Okay, well, then he gets all the blame. This uh, Simon something or the other, right? What's his name? Yeah, I don't, like, I don't remember. Or something. Simon Cannon, not going to work here no more. <laughs> not going not <laughs> not not to work here no more. But, uh, no, I think it was, I think it's his actually first, um, you know, sort of big budget sort of action film in this way, and he just doesn't know how to do it. Uh, I, I noticed a real lack of cinematography and life to his shots it was uh, here's the best way to put it i felt like i was watching a tv episode i was watching like a tv episode yeah, for the dialogue that. is what well, i'm I talking see that about too, even with the acting yeah it was like a soap opera yeah They're soap trying opera. To get so much emotion i was like i'm not buying i'm not this buying this shit like all the motivations are completely wacky we'll talk about some of the crazy as stupid shit in the spoilers yeah. but this is literally one of the worst if not the worst x-men film i would have to freaking think about it but uh it, it's just unbelievable now granted i'm not a huge fan of phoenix the dark phoenix character um but I don't think that this is – is this they the origin for the character? Because I know it involved the space aliens. It involved a different race mm-hmm. uh, in the, in the uh, re, you know, the original X-Men animated cartoon. Um, and I don't know. The villains here, so to speak, are so boring. Mm-hmm. I mean, these might be the worst villains. Very forgettable. Yeah. The worst <laughs> villains. Mm-hmm. Period. I I can't think of anywhere like they walk around emotionless. I guess because they're supposed. Well, I'll get to that in spoilers. But these are some of the worst villains I've ever I've ever seen. And uh, if not for the third act, I probably would have fell asleep. And I think I heard this somewhere that the that this train sequence was part of the reshoots uh, because even though you know it seemed like Fox was rushing to finish it and put something together real quick because this is the last time we're going to get right, it. We're running out of time. Running out of time to do it. They managed to even fuck that up, and I hear they had to reshoot it and test out bad test screenings and let's rejigger things around, move that oh, here, man. move that there, and uh, and come up with this new action sequence. Now, I will, granted, I do think that final action sequence on the train is awesome. I thought that was well-filmed. The X-Men are actually using their fucking powers a little bit more carefree than they were in the other battle that's in this film, about the middle of the film or a little early. Um, And you're just like, why are you not using your powers like at all? This is the most sad, pathetic 
use of the X-Men battle powers that we've seen. When the X-Men and uh, the uh, forces of Magneto are converging in on Dark Phoenix's location, uh, you know, to basically, you know, take her out or protect her, they have this little battle in the middle of a city in a very busy street, almost like Frogger. It was the ba Frogger battle. And it was uh, and no reference to, you know, the, the <laughs> to uh, Darth Maul in the original oh, X-Men. Yeah. But uh, but it, it was, was so <laughs> it was one of the wor yeah Storm. Storm's better here. I liked her better in yeah, Ali Belly Storm. That was Storm. a memorable but, dialogue. Though. But I'm like, she's not using her fucking powers. She At one point, she fucking throws. I, I turned to Alex. I was like, did you see what Storm just did? Like, she's got to fight this guy with his fucking hair and his whips and shit. Slipknot. Not sure. Slipknot? <laughs> that was not the Slipknot actor. That though. was Slipknot. No, it wasn't. <laughs> and you know it wasn't because you played Slipknot. <laughs> Anyways, so she's fighting this guy. And then at one point, she, like, throws fucking ice cubes at him. Yeah. They were actually ice cubes. When When they just showed her able to like freeze the goddamn you know shuttle or big building she could freeze shit mm -hmm. i mean she controls the fucking weather and she gonna throw ice cubes at the dude and the dude's yeah. like ow oh, no yeah. too many ice cubes <laughs> stop it i can't i almost want to get the dvd for that moment no don't buy this thing but if somebody could put that part up on youtube so that i can cut it out and use it in things <laughs> throwing ice cubes Dark what Phoenix. A waste. What a waste. Terrible villain. All the characters were bad. All of them. So all of the characters were super, super one note. Uh, yep. Phoenix was just, I can't control it. Some bad things happen. Uh, Cyclops was just, I got to protect Gene for no reason. Like, I have to protect Gene. And that's all he did the entire I love time. Her. They just. That's the reason. Well, Nightcrawler did nothing but teleport people until he freaked out one and scene. And then he got his machismo back. Yeah. Uh, Xavier <laughs> was a, like, I'm, yeah. I didn't do anything wrong. He has an arc. He's like the one that has the most arc. <laughs> yeah. Nightcrawler. <laughs> no, it just, it's really bad. Uh, it, it seemed like, you know, the actors going through the motions for their last contract. Uh, yeah, that's Mystique. exactly what it was. You're just going through the motions. They didn't really put anything out there. Jennifer, like, whatever. Lawrence in particular, she... Yeah, I guess she did a good, uh, an all right job. None of them did a bad job. It's just it's like, what just can you do with what you're, like, you're given this, like, oh, no, I can't control this. Like, really, this is all I say? Ten, yeah, say it. <laughs> Ten different ways. All right. Oh, no, I can't control it. Hey, so, I, guys, I can't control it. So in the older movie, it's been many years since that one comes out, Dark Phoenix kills a character, kills Cyclops in the original, the first time they did the, the Dark Phoenix film. In this film, we have a character death, and I felt it was handled... Pretty poorly. It's, it just feels like it, was it just very feels dumb. like it was a particular yeah. person just wanted to get out of their contract. It's like, woohoo! She's like, ah, oh, yes! I'm out of the contract. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Joe, for 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 Damn. using, uh, you know, he she. It's great. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, what else? It's so bad. I was bored the entire time. Yeah. At, like once the first five minutes was over and they just start the, the movie actually starts getting going. I just I couldn't even the action scene I had issues with because you the action sequences are actually so close together. The characters are so laughably on different power levels where like Magneto is not doing anything for a really long time. And then in the reshoot scene, he finally does like Magneto stuff. But you'd already showed me that half the time he fights, he doesn't do anything mm -hmm. and that Cyclops doesn't do anything. And all these other people don't that I just couldn't get excited when they finally started using their powers because I just sat there going like, wait a minute, if you can do all that crap, how come you didn't do anything the rest of this movie? Yeah. There's like so many points. It's like, y you use your powers for pointless things and it happens so many yeah. times and I'll talk about it in spoilers, but I was like, really? You wasted like two minutes to do this, and it, that was a waste of time. Mm -hmm. It was so bad. I, I liked I like Michael Fassbender when he uses his powers. It, it is a little funny, but it, you feel you feel the struggle because there's, there's a lot of <laughs> <laughs> that was entertaining. You know that when was. he's doing a battle with fucking Dark Phoenix, right? And they're both doing this. <laughs> 
<laughs> I bought it. I was like, Michael Fassbender, you're a good actor, dude. I feel like he's controlling the magnetic shit on Earth. But you're right. You know, one minute is like throwing ice cubes, and then in the reshoot, she's like, yeah. fucking storm and fucking lightning and fucking sun, sonumi. <laughs> sonumi. Sonu- yeah. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. throws a sonumi at them. What is that? <laughs> Guys, it's, it's bad. And it's not even really an entertaining bad. It's no. a boring bad. All except for the. The train sequence I, where there's I don't you don't even no, like the train even, sequence. You said it was fine. awesome. I think it was just, it was fun. Yeah, it was good. But yeah, but how many times do we really get to see the X Men use their fucking powers and go just unleash? How many times in the X Men movies? How many times in this under movie under Fox's control? You almost never get you know them going fucking no, crazy except for obviously the climaxes. Wolverine's well, gone know. nuts a bunch of times. He yeah. like I mean. There was nothing in this scene like what what does Storm do in the train scene that's all that impressive? She she hits people with lightning and then they get back up because it's not all that powerful. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then like nothing no one else gets to do anything beast. No, I'm just saying each each person gets to use their power at the right power level. What I'm saying is comparing it to that other scene where she's throwing ice cubes. Yeah. It's like, why the fuck didn't you do what you're doing on the train and the previous sequence when you're fighting out in the road, I guess? Because we just got to get rid of logic. This this whole I thing guess, was just... Whatever. I guess it was trash. to protect the civilians. I'm going to use that excuse. That no, was, no. that That's not even the no. case. Because... Right. They weren't protecting no, the civilians. They were just at going all, all out. They okay. Were going crazy. So I think we're getting a yeah. little messy in the review now. I think what what it, what I want to say is that I think this film goes against the fucking characters themselves. Well, especially freaking Xavier. Xavier yeah. as a character, mm-hmm. they did him fucking dirty. He does things in here where it just makes you question why why just why he ma- he's unlikable oh, yeah. they make him unlikable in this film everybody as they said are one note zero character arcs uh nobody really grows and learns from it by the end of the film you feel like that character death had little to no impact and so it really did feel like a person just exiting their fucking con contract it's like okay this is how we're going to end the 20 year, you know, Fox reign Damn. of X-Men. Has it been that long? And it is, you know, ends with a whimper. It ends with a oh my god. All right. Well, I guess we got re- at least we got to see fucking yellow and blue, you know, but wait a minute. We didn't even get to see it on the one person I wanted to see it on, which was Wolverine, who wasn't in this fucking film. Everybody's wearing Wolverine's outfit in this fucking film. No, nah, that was from First class where they start wearing those stuff. But, you know, it's like, God damn it. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's just too many uh, contrivances in the film. And we'll get to that in the spoilers. All right. Yeah. So thank you all so much for watching. Verdicts. What the fuck is wrong with me? This we movie is final verdict. Yeah, this movie's not worth talking about. So I know I understand wanting <sighs> I'm, to rush. I'm, I'm fucking out of it. This is I'm like, it's just, I wanted to go to sleep. Yeah. Mm. I said that when we were driving over here, I think this movie almost put me to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep. Yeah. Like like you were saying, this is a terrible closure. And I was talking to you in the car. I was like, I saw Apocalypse twice. Mm-hmm. Ugh, why? I know, because right? I didn't remember it. I didn't. <laughs> I saw it. I don't remember it. I was like, <laughs> let me <laughs> watch it again. Wait, did I see it? Oh, I can't I remember. It. It. I was like, I can't remember any. <laughs> Any this is it. exactly how I feel. It's like I can't. I'm not gonna remember this at mm-hmm. all. And it was terrible. Uh, there was Joe, no what character. was better, Apocalypse or this? I I don't know. We'll see in a couple of days because <laughs> I probably won't remember anything. <laughs> it's terrible character development. Terrible dialogue. I didn't like the CGI. The mm-hmm. climax was not a climax for me. Um, I didn't like the way they did Professor X. And there's so many stupid things I can nitpick about. I. Did the government not. in particular, the way they handle yes. the government, it's like, wait, what? What are you gonna do? You like love the mutants, and now you hate the mutants because Everything because somebody so fucking tripped. Three three cop cars. Get no, 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 God damn it! You see it in the trailer. What's the fucking point in yeah. fucking the spoilers? God, we fucking ruined this review. This is just the <laughs> junk review. It I might is. have to film another one, but I might put this one up because I don't care. Because Fox didn't care, so fuck it. So I don't with fucking that care. Being said, I did not like it at all. I'm going to give this a three. 
God damn. <laughs> I was bored out of my mind. I mean, I, I kind of agree. It was a bad story. What? The, the characters were bad. Yeah. The CG was bad. Yeah. There was only one five-minute segment where cool stuff was, was happening. Was the CG all that bad? There was some... There was some if, Man. Th- this movie was supposed to come I out last those year, two right? two beers hit me a little more harder than... <laughs> oh, yeah, because I had... Uh, no, you didn't have anything to drink. I had one beer, like a weak beer, yeah. and so I was just watching this going, what the hell is happening? <laughs> I need alcohol. <laughs> I, I need alcohol so bad. Uh, I'm going to... It's not a two. It's I want to give it a two, no, but it's, it's because I, 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 I just I loved going over to my buddy's house to walk, powers. watch X Men and like the animated series. Yeah, we used to so run good. around at school and we'd pick which X Men and like hey, fight those, each other. Those individual cartoons aren't they don't hold up quite of course, as well I was, as you think. I was, I was five the or six. intro does. Right, the intro does. This. Yes, <laughs> but <laughs> this movie was bad almost all the way through. Ninety five percent of this movie was bad. Yeah, so it doesn't deserve anything mm-hmm. higher than three. I kind of want to give it a two, but it's not like Ed Wood. God. Level movie. Damn. It's a three. Yeah. Three. I'm <laughs> okay. giving you a three. All right. Um. All right. So, man, I got to take my love for 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 Sophie out of it here, and and they that that a, a train sequence. She just had one facial expression the entire and movie. one line. Yeah. I'm, oh, the same line over <laughs> and Come over. On. Right. It's just it's a, it's a bad job. And it might not be her fault. It might be the director. The oh, writer yeah, it's her fault. Yeah, the actors and actresses in this movie, for the most part, are She's all bad. great in everything else they've ever been in. No, and no, I don't no. think it's the performance that was bad yeah. because we know that these actors and actresses do a really they had good a job. Great cast. But yeah. what was written on the paper for them right, was right, right. terrible. And that ends up putting together a pretty boring performance or a bad performance, as you might see. Yeah, guys, um, this this one is I can't recommend you go out and see no. it. Even if you're an X-Men fan, you'll probably find really offensive things about it, especially as supposedly the final film of the current X-Men. This really fails at that. It fails in its own right. It really feels like a TV soap opera episode with a really, you know, bombastic action sequence tacked on at the end, which probably through reshoots. I mean, that really helped it. I probably would have given this a two without that train sequence. You know, and the highest this thing I could see anybody giving it is a four. But this is a three. Three, most definitely. Um, and I'm glad that Fox is done yeah. with the X-Men. Yeah. And now we might get to see a new uh, new cast. I need some time to heal, though. need some time to heal. I, I need that. five <laughs> plus years. And I need people to... I don't need time to heal because... I already forgot. Yeah, exactly. I already fucking forgot. Tomorrow, you, you're <laughs> seriously gonna. Forget. Yeah, yeah. I want. I want to see that Wolverine in yellow, black, and blue. And if I don't, then I'll be fucking pissed. Yeah. All right, Marvel, get it <sighs> done. Fox is done with it. It's over with, and that's the end of our review. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.